Hey, 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 everybody. It is Big Rob, the fishing guy, and I am finally back on video. I'm sorry for the long wait on that. Uh, got a lot of stuff kind of go on, but, uh, but hey, that's in the past. Doesn't matter. I'm back. That's what's important. Now, today, special video. It is my first video back. So because of that, I decided to invite a couple special guests. You might know who they are. That is right. I've got Hi. Miss M and Mr. E back with us again. So because I got the kiddos, y'all know me, we're gonna do some easy fishing today. So I got some worms right here, some dancing rascals straight hot off the shelf from Walmart, endorsed by Mr. Bill Dance himself. And then I got some bobbers. We're gonna do just some basic fishing today. Nothing fancy, everything easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Is that right, kiddos? Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, you know what time that means. That means it is time for me to meet y'all back on the water. And uh, yeah. So, guys, next time I see you, we'll be back at the water. Big Rob, the fishing guy, he loves to fish and with his kids. Big Rob, the fishing guy, if he doesn't catch a fish, then the next day he'll try. Alrighty, everybody. We are here, Cedar Gap at the Gap. You know that's my that's my little word for it, the Gap. My son has already started fishing. He hasn't caught anything yet. It is rainy today, so there's a good chance, I guess, that we won't get anything. But that's okay. It's the experience that counts. Ah, 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 there we go. Um, and I'll show y'all what I'm fishing with here in just a minute, guys. But uh, guys and gals, if there's any gals on my channel or watching for the first time. Um, okay. Uh, so my son is fishing with the split strut rig because I dropped my worm. So my son is fishing with the split shot rig. I'm fishing same rig, but with a bobber. He's a good old um, and the uh, only reason I'm doing that is because I put the bobber on there last week and I don't really feel like taking it off. But let me get this worm threaded on this hook here. There we go. So there's my bobber. And I'm fishing with my Shakespeare micro series. Which coincidentally enough, just a couple weeks ago I broke. So this is my new one that I bought from Walmart. There we go. Okay. Alrighty guys and gals, first cast. Let's see what we can get going today. There's a lot of grass, as I've told you here before. So hopefully, and of course I land right on the grass. See if I can reel it into some open water. It's just kind of popping. Okay, so you can see it. I had that little yellow, yellow and orange bobber there. And I, this may be too too shallow, but I'm I'm hoping it won't be. So as y'all know, when you're bobber fishing, it's just kind of a game of patience. Um, I'm going to ask on. Uh, Well, guys, I was able to catch a fish. I'm sorry that I didn't catch that, catch that on video. But there you are right there. Now, it looks like he swiped at it, so I caught him in the face. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can get him off of there. 
Well, it's just your standard, your standard brim, sunfish, bluegill, whatever you want to call them. All right. Miss him, if you can hold this for me. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Bye -bye. Mr. E, if you can come grab grab my phone for me. Sure. Out of this pocket. Where is it? This pocket. Mm -hmm. Oh. Fish, but before I could reel it up, it just swam away. And it ate his worm. Yeah. First fish of the day, ladies and gents. Gotta get the photo of it. And there he goes, swimming away. What do we name it? Oh, well, we don't name Mom. fish. Can you hold this for me? Yes, one time we did. Yeah, no. Daddy, are you Woo. Yes. Oh, no. Last wind. But she's moving. Feed the needy. That actually may be far out, about as far as you want to do it, but that wind is really grabbing that line. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. And see, when it gets too close, I think they don't want to go after it. bird trying to grab my worm there. It doesn't even know what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have something or no? No. No, we got a whole lot of grass. Grass Woo! That's got to be, that's got to be a new record. That's got to be a new record there. All that, all that junk here at Cedar Gap Park. Oh, so gross too. Oh. There we go. So gross. Casting it again. This is where we go, ladies and gentlemen. Right in front of that grass line. Like, I don't know, like maybe a foot. Out. They come out of that, that grass. They come out of that grass to get the worm. And then as soon as you see it, you just you don't even really need to set the hook. You just, you just, you just grab it or you just kind of start reeling. I think that was my problem before, is I was trying to set the hook too early. Hey, 
Hey wind. Hey wind. The wind's the wind is spinning my fish. from my trusty pliers here. Uh, see another good size little bluegill there. And I'm gonna get a couple more casts and ladies and gents we're gonna get out of here and then I'll see y'all in the car. Kinda let you know a recap of how we did today. There we go. So again, we're probably about a foot, two foot away from that grass line. And that's where I've been noticing where they come after it. Too far, then I, I think they're too afraid to get out there in the middle of the ocean. There we go. Or I said ocean. We're in the lake. <laughs> Woo, he got it off. Dang. That's a good fish. He's slurping those worms right off the hook here. Okay, guys, we are done. Uh, it started raining again. I was just like, I can't. It's 146. We've been here for a couple hours. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just can't. Uh, I couldn't do it to the kids anymore. They were they were kind of done fishing. But, um, uh, but yeah, we had a blast. Uh, I think we caught, how many fish did we catch? I think yeah. somewhere around, like, eight or something. Yeah, so one says six, one says eight. We'll say six to eight. Um, not 68. No, no, no. 628. I want to clear that up. <laughs> Um, again, I want to let you know I was using uh, my Shakespeare Micro Series Ultralight Rod. Um, you know, they're, just, they're they're not too expensive. I bought got it at Walmart. Sounds like William Shakespeare. Uh, it wasn't too expensive at all. But um, but basically, what you're looking at doing is uh, for the style of fishing we were doing, which is one I like for like the kiddos and stuff, is um, I had. Uh, I had that rod, it's the standard line that came with it. I haven't changed out that line yet. I think it's four pound mono. But um, I had a uh, bobber on it, and below that bobber, probably two, three feet, uh, two, two and a half feet, probably more likely. I had a, a good size split shot. And then from there, I had a size eight or size six hook. I used both today. So I had a size eight and a size six hook. Um, yeah, sorry, there's guys fishing in front of me. It looks like he may have something, but but no, it looks like he's just caught. Anyway, um, yeah, so I had a size 8 and a size 6 hook. I used both. Um, where I was fishing is that from where the bridge is at this other side of Cedar Gap Park, it's just a few feet down, and you'll see this grass edge, right? And what you want to do is you want to fish good like two, three feet past it. Um, I don't know, like right when you get up to it, I don't know what it is. They just don't want to bite, but if you get too far away, obviously you're not your um the fish don't want to get eaten so they don't want typically want to go out there that far um unless you're getting like bigger bluegill and such but hey do what you got to do i'm i'm not one to steer you steer you one way or the other um but other than that you know like i said we had a blast uh, the kids love doing this type of stuff as you can see my thumbs giving me a, uh my son my son is giving me a thumbs up um but hey guys i do want to let you know Thank you so much for being patient with me while I was getting everything kind of situated again and uh, was able to get this video done today. Uh, please like, subscribe. If you let people know, let them know to like and subscribe. Um, more importantly uh, as well is make sure you comment down stuff that you want to see me try to do more of. Now, I, I'm not necessarily looking for different types of fish to catch, but, um, but you know, I'm always down to try it. Know that I'm bank fishing only, so... I'm kind of limited to what I can and can't do, but um, but I'll I'll definitely try. But if there's something you feel the video needs, that's important too. Let me know because I am trying to get this get this thing going. So I appreciate any and all help that y'all give me. Uh, that being said, um, again, appreciate you being patient. Love the fact that you're here with me, getting this channel started and going. I appreciate it so much. <clears throat> uh, I know my kids do as well because they worked hard on that intro video for me. Uh, other than that, guys, thank you. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and get out of here. That's right. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. It is raining. I don't want to be here too much longer. I want to get some food. Um, but guys, as always, 
fishing's about having fun. I, I don't I say as always. I don't even know last time I said that. But fishing's always about having fun. That's the only thing I do it for. I don't care if I catch a fish or not as long as I have to come out and have a good time. I want the same thing for y'all. Y'all have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay dry. And as always, keep on keeping on. I said as always twice. Better. Don't worry about it. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. There it is. Big Rod the fishing guy, he loves to fish and with his kids. Big Rod the fishing guy, if he doesn't catch a fish, then the next day he'll try.